بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Dear brothers and sisters, welcome to the 16th episode of the Ramadan series, The Daily Revival, presented by Serving Islam Team and your brother Isa Ma. Today's episode is called Barefoot Muslim. Everything in life can be justified with an excuse, regardless of whether such an excuse is valid or not. People will usually find a way to justify for their actions. One such action that is frequently justified by its doers is the excessive indulgence in the permissible matters of dunya, causing us to forget or even with time begin hating the meeting of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yani, there are certain things that are not prohibited by Islam. There are mubahat, allowed and uh, a neutral, but then overindulgence in them, if you spend too much time in them, it could be a cause of your uh, heedlessness and a cause of your distance uh, from the deen and the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it could make you forget um, the mission of your life and the destination of this journey. One would think that despite what the ummah is experiencing at large, including escalating fear, rampant poverty and the large-scale displacement of Muslim communities, hearts would naturally begin to distance themselves from the excess excesses of dunya, finding such excesses massively distasteful knowing that their muslim peers lack the basics of life you know when we see the sufferings and uh, tough situations of our brothers and, sister and sisters in different parts of the world you would think that a person living in this era would naturally uh, feel uh, you know disinterested in the uh, frivolities of this world However, the lifestyles of many suggest that we remain unmoved and utterly indifferent. For this reason, the Prophet ﷺ would guide us to a practical bit of advice to help nurture within us a true realization about the reality of this word. What is this advice? The companion Fadala ibn Ubaid radiallahu anhu said, كان النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم يأمرنا أن نحتفي أحيانا he said the Prophet ﷺ used to command us to walk barefoot at times. Take off your shoes and, where suitable, take a brief walk around the block. Suddenly, the masks of our, of our justifications slip away and the face of real humility within us is exposed. Imam al-Munawi said, In amina tanajusa qadamayh ka kawnihi fi ardi ramliyati mathalan wa lam yudhih فهو محبوب أحيانا يعني المشي حافيا بقصد حضم بقصد حضم النفس وتأديبها ولهذا ورد أن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم كان يمشي حافيا ومنتعلا وكان الصحب يمشون حفاة ومنتعلين. He said if one is sure that his feet will not be exposed to fouls nudges, for example by uh, being on a sandy land. And is sure that he will not be harmed, there is nothing harmful on the road, then walking barefoot is recommended at times for the purpose of humbling oneself and its discipline. For this reason, it was narrated that the Prophet ﷺ used to walk uh, with and without shoes. Sometimes he would walk without shoes. And so did the companions. At a time of distractions at an industrial scale, this practice is so precious and timely. Um, when I visited Pakistan and uh, India, I remember there are many masajid where the shoe racks are at the gate of the masjid, not at the door of the you know, prayer hall, the building, but at the gate of the courtyard. So you take off your shoes and you have to walk on um, marble or sometimes even bricks uh, barefoot. At first, I was not used to this and uh, I didn't feel comfortable doing that. But then after a few experiences, after... I tried a few times, I started to liken it. It felt very natural. It felt that you're building a relationship with the earth, uh, with, you know, uh, Allah's creation. And you feel humble and you feel that you're reminded of your roots, you're reminded of your uh, beginning. So I think it's a very good practice to, um, uh, as Imam al Munawi said, discipline our nafs and also to. Uh, make us um, 
you know, there's an expression in Chinese which is 接地气. It means to connect with the qi, like the energy of the earth, right? It's important for us to have some connection with the energy of the other creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So let's revive this practice of being barefoot sometimes. Thank you for watching. Jazakumullahu khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.